Hello, FIFA faithful Bear Hams here, and welcome to episode 25 of You Squad Gods with Bayern Munich 2. And this is a special one. We are going to play four games today as we'll take a look at the calendar. We'll start off with a game against RB Leipzig at Red Bull Arena, and then we have the round of 32 of the Europa League knockout stage as we take on Torino. And then our final game, because we didn't play him when we had him the first time, going to take on Borussia Dortmund. Off camera, we did have a really big injury as Mikhail Piosek will be out for three months. But it's a bit of a blessing in disguise since we did get Alonzo Lara. So because of Piosek being out, Alonzo Lara is going to get a lot more playing time. This game will be the last for Finn Stierlin as the starter as Mikhail Dudzinski will be ready for the next game as he will recover from his injury. And we will be taking on RB Leipzig at the Red Bull Arena. Malin now just... Looking for some space as he might find it. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? There's a shot. Thankfully, that goes to the other side of the post. We'll find Goretzka. Leon Goretzka. Playing for RB Leipzig now. Here's a chance. Dahoud with the shot. Great save. Cleared out. Nice clearance by Campanucci. Tapped it through. All right, Cristea. To Gori. Gori. Great tap in. Dodzinski. Maybe two pa Oh! No, what? Come on! Oh, they did that on purpose. They knew it was like, ah, oh, you think you got a goal? Never mind. Dodzinski, ah, oh, can't turn in time to get the shot off. Good play by Kudya as Campanucci tries to thread a pass. That's a good one. Gory able to get it to Cristea. Cristea getting held up, but we still go. That's a pass to Gory somehow. Gory still with it. Gory fire scores. Simone Gory. Great pass from Cristea. That was a weird series of events. I thought Gore was going to go a little faster, but still stuck with the ball and right off of the counter, get the goal. Oh, that's a long ball to Gomez. Good play by Siegmund. Will, wow, he's just going to keep it like that. Interesting. Siegmund is going to run because apparently Anderson wants to play that left back role. But anyway, that will work out. Gory is free. Here comes Gory. Gory. Cuts, fires, scores, goal number two for Simon Gori. What a rocket. Maybe there was some method to Siegmund's madness as he places an absolute dime to Simon Gori. And he gets goal number two on the day. But got to give credit where credit's due for that defender. Now here's a, ch here's a real chance here. And Gori is going to bury it. So there we go. Another hat trick for Simon Gori. Continues just to... Be an absolute monster up top. I don't know who got the assist there, but we'll take a quick look at the replay. So I believe it will be Santi Vera who continues to get numerous assists. He's probably hoping to get a 10-plus assist season like he did the year before. So there's a big booming cross in the box. Schwab is going to clear it. Bob's your uncle. We win 3-0. Three goals from Simon Gori. Gets another match ball in his already historic career. 16 goals for Simon Gore. He's climbing up the golden boot race. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a finalist. For the second game of the episode, Torino visits the Grunwalder Stadion. Finally, finally they gave us an orange ball. Something you guys can actually see. As we do have a couple starters. We have Santivera as well as Campanucci. But the rest, they're just backups. Couple seasons back, so there's a good play by Campanucci, able to chest it down. We're going to get some going on the counters. There's a good pass by Petroipa. Graf is looking for Bruce the Moose. Our Canadian winger does get past the tackle. Gets a cross in, looking for Petroipa. Yes! Yes! What a rocket by Yakuba Petroipa. As Bruce the Moose, he's learned a lot from his loan spell. Able to find Petroipa. Gets the volley. Whoopam! So now he's just going to lump it up. No chance for them as we're just going to clear it out. And that will be the end. So we do get the victory in the first leg. One goal is all we needed. That beautiful cross in from Bruce the Moose to find Petroipa. So now it's just all about that second leg. Simulating the game against Leverkusen, it is Dudzinski's first return back from his injury. And Lacazette gets the brace. And it looks like the guy that we just brought in for Kruger 
is injured. I'm hoping that's not too serious. Two months. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. God damn. Got a center back for three months and now a right back for two. Since the injury will last for a while, we will have to bring a player back from loan, and it will be Jens Klein as he'll be coming back from Getafe. Second round of this knockout stage, can we beat Torino? Uh, Jens Klein screws that one up. Shakvetsa has a chance. There's some options. There's a through ball. That's a good one. That's all knotted up at one now. Just right after the 30-minute mark. Bit of a miscue by our defense. And there we go. It's all drawn up at one. Good header. Good play by Vera. Vera able to keep it. Goes out wide. Uriga. Can he finish? Oh, no. Come on, Uriga. Ah, he was going for the curler, but I think he should have went for power on that one. Oh, shoot it. Shoot it. No. Oh, what? God damn. Okay. We're going to we're going to make some subs here. I'm not liking the output from Petroipa and Uriga, so for the final bits and pieces, let's bring on Gory, let's bring on Dudzinski. Gets one to Gory. Gory cuts. Finds a pass maybe to Dudzinski and hits the post, but it will find Justice Graf able to pick up the shot from the post. Justice Graf with his third Europa League goal after Dudzinski Oh, so close, but thankfully our CDM has a wide open net. And we might just have the golden goal. And that'll do it. We are off to the round of 16 of this Europa League competition. Was a little scary at first as Volland did that did get that goal in the first half. We haven't talked a lot about Justice Graf, but he's doing a good job in the Europa League. Already three goals, and I think he does have an assist to his name. Gets the goals when they count. And that one counted the most. For the round of 16, we'll be taking on French side Strasbourg. Away fixture against Heidenheim. We had to give Kampanucci a break since he's really tired. And it shows. We lose another one by a score of 2-0. Final game of the episode, we take on Borussia Dortmund. Once again, we have snow. Oh, boy. Gonna find Dudzinski. Dudzinski. Make that run. Get past Matip. Yes, he does. Come on, finish it! Yes! Thank you, Simon Gori. Once again, taking in a Mateusz Dudzinski assist. And what a shock lead so far. Brilliant placement by our Polish Cam. Get that one past Berkey. We're up by one. Oh, good play by Vera. Great play by Vera. He's able to keep it. Taft sat through. <gasps> Dudzinski! Yes! <laughs> what a volley, Mateusz Dudzinski. Great placement by Simon Gori, and that's our Polish cam, who, you know, compared to last year, he's been a little quiet, but comes out of this game with an absolute boomer. And that's going to get a through ball to Anderson. Maybe a chance. No, nah, they're not going to give us that one as Shellick able to get it. That'll be the end of the first half. A great start. Good goals by Gori and Dudzinski. And we are putting a number on Borussia Dortmund. I should probably take out Gori and Dudzinski, but I I don't know. Maybe get one more goal between the two, and then we'll call it good. Do want to save them up for some future games. I got to say, we are doing a great job so far against a good team like Borussia Dortmund as Graf. Able to ferociously win the ball. So now we might have a chance here as Dudzinski sees the run from Cristea. Now Cristea has some space. Cristea chips it up for Gori. Dudzinski, can he finish? Yes, he does. Mateusz Dudzinski with the brace. Able to get the deflection and perfectly place it into the top of the net. Didn't even have to think about it, so that's technically his second volleyed goal of the day. Well, more like a half volley, but nonetheless, loving the output. And that's already his 10th goal on the season. Good job, the dude. There's a good through ball to Vera. Vera to Dudzinski. Dudzinski does get it through to Petroipa. Petroipa with the space. Come on, keep going. Yakuba. Petroipa! Yakuba Petroipa! Way to bury that one home. 
I believe that will be the dude's second assist on the evening. Good for him. As, yeah, Doltmans are truly dead and buried. Find Vera. Vera with a through ball to Petroipa. Petroipa with his pace is going. Has a chance now. Cuts back. There's a chance. Oh, Eberly. Eberly. There we go. Eberly with his first professional goal. He's been in Romania for a couple months on loan. Brought him. Well, we didn't really bring him back. His loan expired and no one else wanted him. And I think after that goal, might get some phone calls. Uh, maybe a chance here. There's a cross. Good punch out by Dudzinski. And that has to do it. Oh, my God. Just stop play. Finally. Okay, they do stop play. Great way to end it. We destroy Dortmund. Yeah. Braced by Dudzinski. He also had two assists to his name. Not to mention Dudzinski. Baby Dudzinski. Getting a clean sheet. First one after getting injured. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this side right now. Yes, this will be the end of the episode. It was fun to watch us tear Dortmund a new one. As now we're in seventh place. Looking really good. Just a couple points out of a Europa League spot. Though, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. But we did great. We're on to the round of 16 of the Europa League. And we're just cruising in the Bundesliga. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. This has been Bearhams. And as always, take a look.